were to put in perspective far left. the far left lane and we all literally the the right. went all the way to the far right so so beautiful oh my goodness <laughs> mommy 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 same. I thought love was just like, yeah, I love you, I care about you, that's but bad. like, that's it. I don't know. Like, it didn't really feel like, oh my gosh, crap, all that shit. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's what, what this is. is. to keep her so he picked me up from the airport and i didn't know because i'm like bro have you picked her up yet and he's like bro don't worry about it oh he tried to surprise he you with your dog I'm like nigga where the fuck is my dog <laughs> so i get in the car walk in the door and it's like roses on the seat oh and then i feel cute. something licking my ear I'm like, oh my god oh god Aww. But that's cute. So happy she jumped in the front seat. <laughs> yeah, she was like in the beginning when it was just me, like you know, it'd be like quiet. I'm like just doing me. So she would lay down a lot and like you just tell she was just sad, big size and shit. Then come. <laughs> like oh all God. bro, they're best friends. Like it's not even funny. <laughs> she lost some I forgot her tooth. 
Yeah, she. Oh, you said yeah. 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 <laughs> she's growing up. I have up. one, but I couldn't. I didn't know where the fuck the other one was. <laughs> no, nah, she literally has like four teeth. <laughs> she's missing so many. But yeah, she was having the time of her life. Oh my gosh, she had so much fun. Shit, we did too. When we dropped her off, we came back and we were like, oh, mochi. <laughs> like having withdrawals. <laughs> Does it feel good? <laughs> Don't be showing your face. I wonder if somebody else from my lashes. And look at them still on. They look good. Sure. And they, I feel like they match your eyes more. missing somebody <laughs> like literally attached so we're gonna go see her hey <laughs> hey <laughs> bye oh what's that noise <laughs> i know right yeah we just left beta and mocha okay. we're on the way to my damn uh mammy house go pick up some of my shit yeah yeah baby you see my lips you want some? They, they turn some pink. They become a... Mm. <laughs> Dang, I'm yeah, so look hungry. At, look at the princess. There we go. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Thank you, you're making me nervous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Niggas are stupid, just don't understand. What are you talking? You talking shit? Oh, uh, no. Mommy, mommy, mommy. You can sit in the car when it pumps. Right. How much do you think it, it takes to fill up the truck? 30. 30? You're almost done now. Uh, the amount of a few seconds it would have taken to walk around and actually Yeah, you would have had to. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna drive. We're going far. We're driving sorry, an hour. When I get cold, I can't function. <laughs> I know. I know this. down and try to stay warm. Oh, shit. Uh, there we go. I was like, 34? Gas yeah. is getting expensive, y'all. Yes. Supposed to be, uh, over. Oh, you're right. I'm trying to get the. There we go. <laughs> They're only gonna get hints and hints and hints, and that's it. I told them about that. Sh oh, lady, waiting too. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, queens. Hi, howies. <laughs> I kind of like it. it's growing on me. Okay. Oops. Sorry. So we went and got our vision boards or our boards and our vision are right there. 
We printed out our pictures. The camera ran out of storage when we were at Walmart, so y'all didn't get to see that process, but we have a lot of pictures. Bay's already um, laying his out. I was kind of debating doing this online and like showing y'all. I don't have to show y'all the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? But then again, it's, I mean, it's not that fucking serious. I'm still gonna get it done. Highly recommended. For those of you who don't do this, do it. Do it. Cause like you need to look at your goals. You need to see what you're trying to accomplish every day. Put it in your face every day. Put it on your lock screen if you're not gonna make a physical board. This is my first time making a physical. Board. Why am I opening the glue like I'm doing glue right now? Anyway, this is my first time, and I'm pretty sure your first time too, making a physical vision board. And I feel like it's going to pay off. Like I genuinely feel like it's gonna do wonders. So first things first, we gotta lay out these pictures. Um, this is a pretty decent sized board. It's gonna go above my desk, and his is gonna go in his little. <laughs> Never mind. They don't need to know all that. Area. Area. <laughs> Dang, this is kind of overwhelming. Hold on. I want to cut some of these, so they're going to have to be like overlaid. Thank you. and how can we support each other during difficult times? How do I handle stress? Yeah. So you wouldn't even be able to tell them stress. I know. But like cope, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Talk, hug, kiss, love, mm -hmm. shopping. <laughs> you did say that. Uh, I'll say pout, cry, and then think. And how can we, what was the other part? How can we support each other during those times? Being, just open communication. Like, look, I'm I'm feeling this type of way right now. This has nothing to do with you, but I just need a second. Yeah, I'd say, I'm about to say, that's kind of what I kind of do, would do anyway. I do that now. If you could have any superpower to enhance our relationship, what would it be? Mind reading. Yeah. So when you're able to not express yourself or yeah. show, I can just read your mind and be like, okay, babe, I got you, babe. Damn, I haven't dealt with glue in a little minute. I know, I'm hitting it a little bit. My reading was a good one. I would say teleportation so we could just go on a trip if we feel like- Like if we need it real quick. Yeah. Like get away real quick, just be like, oh. Yeah, like, mm, let's go to Bali. <laughs> what is one activity or hobby you've always wanted to try together? Oh no, you did say that. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Me personally, I wouldn't pick somebody. If you do, it'd be somebody you you, you trust. Somebody you wouldn't go talking and doing no weird shit. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking somebody we don't know <laughs> and making them sign in any way. Mm. After we're at a certain point, we can't yeah. have people just, you know? And it would have to be someone we don't know. We never see them again. Um, yeah, you got me pondering. That's bad. On um, what? Thinking about that shit. You said that's bad? Yeah. But before I was questionable, but now I'm leaning towards it. <laughs> uh, I would say um, some crazy shit like skydiving. Right, we can do that. Like I would only want to do it with you. We can definitely do that. I've gone before, and that shit for me, like I said, I'm an adrenaline junkie. Yeah. And that's are. one of the, the best rushes between You've that. You've done it before. Like skydiving, not indoor. Mm -hmm. No, outdoor. I've done indoor for indoor first in Orlando. Yeah. And then I did outdoor. I can't believe. But you can change. I only did it from like ten thousand feet. I didn't go too much. I'm just gonna turn that off because mm -hmm. I'm not even surprised. Yeah. I am, but I'm not. Like you've done everything. Uh, no. if you could. No. Everything, everything. No, but like you. <laughs> like when it comes to like. I sold an alligator. Like, I have done that. I have mm -hmm. done that. It's the fact that you put it on your back and yeah, roll Yeah, I, I tied his little ass up, put him on my back, rolled my bike to my complex, and let, let, let his little ass go. Bro. Mm -hmm. uh, what is one memory from our early days of dating that still makes you smile? We were just talking about that. I would say the audio messages. I was going to say waking up in the morning 
and have me looking forward to texting you. Yeah. Looking forward to texting you, looking forward to your call, your response. <laughs> yeah, I would say that and then also even just like getting to know each other and getting like hearing stories mm -hmm. and whatever. Just getting closer to each other and not even being close for real. Yes. Fingers getting sticky. <laughs> Same. What are three thing, three things you appreciate about our relationship? Our love of communication. Yeah. Our love of understanding mm -hmm. one another and Every, like a lot of other things and I'll say well, no, the way we just know to cater to each other yeah that's true it comes really naturally too like we just know how to like what the other one yeah just know how to please each other when, when needed yeah oh <laughs> this is literally what we're doing uh what are your dreams and aspirations for our future yeah look at the this. board <laughs> so I said she look at the board mm -hmm. it says how do you define love and how has that definition changed over time Shit, before I didn't even know what love was for real, I had an idea of what, what, uh, what love is. Well, I didn't even really know what it was for real. So, no. Really? Honestly, I would say the same. I thought love was just like, yeah, I love you, I care about you. That's but, that. like, that's it. I don't know. Like, it didn't really feel like, oh my gosh, like, love struck, all that shit. Yeah. Until I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's what, what this, this is. is. <laughs> That's why I said that nostalgic feeling you got like that little weird feeling I had I mean, Last time I felt that was a long time ago mm. I was just like, oh shit. That's what this is. Okay. These are like lighthearted, I guess. Uh, what would you buy me if I gave you five dollars and asked you to buy me a gift? What would I buy you if you gave you gave Basically, me Basically, if you had a five dollar gift budget. Let's say ten because that's kind of crazy. I don't even know I would We have expensive taste. Oh shit, my battery's flashing. I would go get some ice cream, <laughs> some strawberries, and some whipped cream. <laughs> Word? And now am I wrong, babe? Or no, I, that's a good gift. On? Spot on, actually. Follow, 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 what? <laughs> you. Oh, are you recording? Yes. Oh. You want me to in there? Probably. <laughs> a lot happened this past week. Honestly, this past month has been like, God has been tying up loose ends. You could just tell like, but everything that's been going on, everybody getting cut out of my life, a lot of shit has been just cleansing, you know, before the new year. So the last cleanse <laughs> was my car. She got totaled. Um, okay, so we got in two accidents in one week. Um, Thursday, was it Thursday or? Wednesday. It was Thursday and then Wednesday. We first got in a fender bender, right? It was just like, a fender bender. Yeah, it was just a fender bender. Like we tried to make a U-turn and then somebody came out of fucking nowhere. We hit them, whatever. Then the next week, Wednesday comes and I come back from, this is literally the day after Christmas, like the 26th. I drove, what, seven, probably a total of like eight hours from Tampa up here. And later that night, we were driving down to Bay's mom's house and we had to go through downtown. I fucking hate driving through downtown, but this is why we had basically like got stopped like dead stop traffic because it was an, an accident like a couple minutes before our accident it was like yeah at least three cars probably more it didn't look that bad but it was like bad enough to basically take up take up the whole highway so it went from like six lanes to one lane you know how everybody be having to like get over and it's all slow and shit so normally like obviously i feel bad when stuff like that happens or when accidents happen but this time like both of us were actually very like it just felt like heavy like we felt i don't know it was basically our intuition telling us that something was gonna happen but at the time i didn't know what it was i was just like getting really emotional and this was before i even saw the accident we were just sitting there and i heard sirens and fire trucks and whatever whatever were coming and i was just like crying like tearing up and like crying i'm like i don't know i normally don't cry i feel bad but i don't like cry whatever. literally a couple minutes later we get hit multiple times and i think that's what that was but anyway so you know after you're dead stopped on a highway for a long time and everyone's impatient and stuff you want to go fast or at least you know speed back up so i think that's what was happening because it wasn't that much further away from that accident where ours um occurred so we're going around like a little curve thing downtown if you know you know you probably know like right around georgia state campus they is driving 
I'm in the passenger seat. Uh, the first time, I'm gonna put pictures as I'm explaining, so hopefully you can kind of follow, but we get hit basically on like the, the tire or like that area, you can see. Um, right. Back rim. The back rim, the back hubcap came off. Y'all see the rim bent too, so like they hit us hard as fuck. And it was a hit and run. They left. They left the scene. They did not stop. So not only did it hit the car, the left side of Princess once, it was pretty much a side swipe. And a hit. And another hit. It, it was like bumper cars. Literally, it was like this, like whatever. So the mirror got taken off. The whole left side of my car was like swiped. Due to how fast and hard we got hit, we just started spinning i don't really even know what happened to be honest everything happened really fast but we spun and like i guess was going diagonally across the whole highway basically we were to put in perspective the far left, the far left lane and we all literally the the right. went all the way to the far right so literally the whole highway luckily Atlanta drivers see this shit all the time and everybody stopped so we didn't really get hit until it was someone who wasn't paying attention um, It was a Florida driver surprise. Yeah, so we're spinning all we hear is like Whatever see headlights at one point like we're facing traffic like it was a lot That happened and then we got hit again on the right side on my side and two the times. airbags two times Yeah, two different cars and mind you out of the three cars that hit us or maybe even more only one stopped. I don't, nobody fucking has insurance, I guess. But anyway, so um, yeah, we get hit, the airbags deploy, and my seatbelt like broke. It was still buckled in, but it like broke. I thought I was forming a, a seatbelt shaped bruise on my hip, but then it kind of disappeared. Luckily, I was wearing jeans. I think that helped. <laughs> that shit was really scary. I immediately started crying because, not to mention, I was just crying from the last accident that just happened. And like the first time we got hit, I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like what just happened? Then we're spinning and in my head, I'm like, what is happening? Like we literally just saw an accident. Like, I don't know. It was way too fucking soon. It was too soon. Then we get hit again. And that's when I lost it. I started crying like, oh my God, like what just happened? Like it was just very scary, very fast. And the actual situation, like could have gone really like it just could have been way worse that happened and then we get out um i'm still bawling my eyes out and by the time bae comes and opens my door the first thing i said was i'm getting my bins like tears flowing don't do that i obviously made a claim to my insurance but because it was a hit and run like they have to do an investigation and it's gonna take a while before i have a new vehicle but i'm not really tripping i feel like god is in control of all this like Genuinely, I don't I'm not tripping and literally the day before the accident I was praying and asking like I don't know how this is gonna happen, but I really want this Benz like I really really want it Okay, <laughs> let's just speed up the process really quick. Let's total out your car. Okay done She's totaled by the way. If, I guess if airbags are deployed Then your car is total. So yeah, that's basically what happened. Um, what? four or five days ago at this point. At some point soon, hopefully I'll get a rental. They just have to investigate a little bit. <clears throat> and then, yeah, whatever else will come, will come. I'll keep y'all posted, but I definitely feel like I have to tell y'all because y'all were with me when we bought Princess. Like, literally, RIP Princess. She was so good to us. So I went to the car graveyard, basically, um, to get my things. Here's that footage. I'm trying to find Princess right now. Goodness, there's so many car parts everywhere. Uh, said row A, which is, I think, along this fence. <sighs> this is like really weird. I don't know why it feels so weird, but it does. There's so many cars. I don't think, is it up there? No. It literally feels like, and is, uh, oh, that's a cat. That scared me. I was like, what's that movement? <laughs> anyway, it's like a car. Graveyard? Oh my gosh. I don't like that these doors are open. It's scary. Where the fuck is Princess? Okay. Oh wait. Oh, I see her. <laughs> Princess. I think she's right there. This was the first accident, then the second, 
Yeah, they literally sideswiped literally across the whole car. And then we swerved, spun, did all a bunch of other shit, and then got hit here. Oh God, that looks worse than I remember. And then the airbags came out, so that's why I felt like I got hit worse than I did. Oh goodness, princess. Okay, my glasses. They're at the floor. Oh, this is traumatizing a little bit. Okay, might as well get my water bottle and my car charger. And, oh, can't see. It's upside down. Oh, princess, you are dirty girl. Dude, my fucking look at that. My seatbelt also broke. I don't think y'all can see it though. Hold on. Okay. Look at my mirror. Oh yeah, the door makes weird noises too. Okay. Oh, princess. Uh, I'm gonna miss this girl. Let me get my Tories. Y'all, it's cold as shit. Let me pop the trunk. Hopefully I have a bag in there. Because my hands are already full. Registration. Okay. Yo, I don't know where any of this... What is this? Oil change? I don't know. Hold on. All right, princess. I love you. You've been so good to me. Baby, thank you for everything. Damn, I'm gonna cry. So yeah, that was just like very eye-opening. Very. Um, obviously, I believe in the higher power, but every time shit like that happens, I'm just like, that shit is real. <laughs> like, we're okay, we're safe. We literally are not in pain. Like, God did. Okay, literally. The fact that uh, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt properly. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really have no pains for real, no nothing. No. Like, luckily, because you grabbed me after the first hit while we were, like, spinning. Because if not, I would have been on the door mm -hmm. <laughs> when we got hit. That, that is also just experience as well. Because, like, whenever stuff like that does happen, it's better to be in the center of a car than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm glad you did what you did. I'm glad you were driving, period. If I was driving y'all, oh my gosh. I don't even know if I would be here telling y'all the story genuinely. Like, I don't know. That would have been really bad. And like it's funny because like he was driving the first time, like the first fender bender, and I was and everyone was like, No, you're not driving again. And even I said that. But for some reason, I mean I had just drove a seven, eight hour road trip. I was like, Can you drive? Like, cause his mom's not that close. Like it was gonna be a little a little dry. So I'm glad I asked him to I drive. Too, at first I was I was hesitant because like like you said everybody was yeah I'm not driving no more. Even yeah. I said I'm not driving no more because one I'm I'm not a Georgia native. All this shit is new to me. Mm -hmm. All this yes I'm an experienced driver, but the way these motherfuckers yeah, drive. Yeah, Georgia here, drivers are it's ridiculous. It's actually crazy. Like y'all don't care about y'all lives and it yeah, just literally. i don't want this to be too long because then i have to edit it and i'm posting it today in a couple of hours so that's the story time everybody's good thank god we're good i'll keep y'all posted yeah, um, ready for the new year. yes a lot of things are happening very soon actually by the way get ready for my merch i know i said that two months ago i know i did i, I did i did but now i'm like actually SOB, SOB. standing on business so, literal <laughs> business. Quick, I guess like yearly recap. This was a shitty year, but it was like a, a necessary year because now all the lessons have been learned. Not all, but you know. The lessons that I needed and need for 2024 have been learned and now I know how to act accordingly and achieve everything. <laughs> yeah, it's just so much. Obviously, oh, oh, surprise, I have a, a bay. Literally. I was about to say, I don't know what I did to deserve him, but I, I healed. That's what I did. So, 
Here's your PSA. If you want a real solid, good relationship, just give it to yourself first. That's literally what I did, and then here we are. That's it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and just being here. Whether you're here 20% of the time or 100% or 2%, I'm so grateful for you. So, cheers to the new year. Fuck you, 2020. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're not even going to go into this. Thank you, 2023. I'll say that. Thank you, next. Okay. <laughs> Love you. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. And until then, bye. bye.